Well, happy hump day. Happy hump day. Happy hump day. Happy hump day to your baby. Yes, happy hump day, y'all. Thank you for tuning in this morning. And thank you if this is your first time. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for rocking with me, all my old subscribers. Like, share, comment. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when your girl upload another video. That's it. That's it, y'all. Look, I am so irritated this morning till I'm damn near in tears. Okay. Um, I'm really, I'm really upset because a lot of times I'm just going to jump right into it. Sometimes people use their disability. There we go. Sometimes people use their disability as a free pass. Okay. A free pass. So I was at Walmart last night. Okay. And um, this person that was in the wheelchair um, was extremely rude to me. Extremely rude. And um, I was walking in. And he, was, he was like, can you hurry up? I'm like, oh, excuse me. Because for one, just because I'm walking and I'm moving, I have mobility issues. I, my knees be hurting. I have uh, my, my one foot. I have neuropath neurop ah, neuropathy in my one of my foot. I have sci sciatic nerve issue. So it was a lot of people, you know, going in and I happened to be like, you know, in front of him. <coughs> Excuse me. Long story short. I said, I, I looked at him. I said, you know what? I'm sorry that I'm not walking fast enough for you. I'm not trying to be in your way. I can't move over. I can't move over because there's, see the one, there's an exit door, people coming out. That door don't open, you gotta go through the enter, entrance door, okay? And the, I can't explain how it was, but I wasn't able to move either way. I had to, anyway, oh, anyway. He was hella rude to me. So I, I, I had to catch myself. And then I said, wait a minute, why am I catching myself? Just because he's in a weird wheelchair doesn't give him the right to be rude. You know, and the lady, you know how they have those people that um scan you at the door? You know, they be trying to be like Costco. You know, they, you know, scan the receipt and all that because, you know, now some people don't be buying bags or whatever. And this lady said, oh, no, he comes here all the time. You know, don't worry about him. He, he's like that. He ain't going to be like that with me. I'm supposed to, you know, so I, I let it go. But it upset me. Because that's not, he ain't the only one that's like that. A lot of times people be disabled and they feel like, <coughs> excuse me, because they're disabled that they just get a free pass to say whatever they want to say to you, be hella rude to you. And because they're in a wheelchair, we're supposed to just let them just talk to you any old goddamn kind of way. And it's not right. And a lot of times I feel like, um, and if I would have gotten to an argument with him, which I didn't, but if I would have, because he's in a wheelchair, people would have been more partial to him. Okay, they would be more partial to him because, you know, he's disabled. Okay, he's disabled. I'm able body. He's disabled. So they would have got more. They would have been partial to him because they would have felt sorry for him. He's in a wheelchair. You know, he's disabled. Okay, so he can just be rude and disrespectful. Uh, you know, and, and, and it's like they get a guy like they it's like they get a free pass like. I understand disabled people, whether you're blind, I know that, you know, blind and 
elderly and you know if you have some kind of physical ailment that it's 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 human nature to be kind to give them a little bit more um empathy that you, than you would normally would most i mean if you or humanists like me, you know, when I see disabled people, I, I, you know, I get more, you know, my heart goes out and you're more willing to, you know, um, to, you know, to help or open a door or do whatever, you know, or say hi or be kind or, or, you know, whatever the case is, but you, you, you know, um, you don't just, you know, want to be rude to, to a disabled person because, you know, but it, on the other hand too, do that give them a free pass to be disrespectful and rude? You know what I'm saying? It's like, I know that they got services and stuff extended for them, you know, um, but I just feel like if you are sane enough to be rude and disrespectful, whether you walking or you rolling in a wheelchair, okay, if you, if you are talking shit and saying something to somebody, we should have the right to cuss your motherfucking ass out too. But because you're a person is disabled, we can't, it ain't right to cuss them back out. Girl, people were looking at me and I, I was about to, I, oh, I was about to go in on his ass, but I didn't. And, you know, because people was like, you know, and then the lady that was standing there, oh, he comes here all the time. Don't, you know, he's, <laughs> so he just going to roll on his shit, trying to speed it up, trying to give me a damn flat tire. We used to call it flat tire when, when the basket hit your the back of your ankle, I mean the back of your ooh, back of your foot, that shit hurt like a motherfucker. Okay? And he's trying to speed up his thing and drive on his wheelchair all fucked up. You know, that's just wrong. That's just wrong. And because he's disabled, you know, we supposed to just let him just 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 run amok. Just run amok. I don't think it's right. I don't. Leave in the comments what you feel. Leave in the comments if you agree or disagree. You know, let's have a conversation. But I just feel like, you know, you know, I, I you know, people be more partial to take a disabled person's side than a, a regular, you know, a, a, a able-bodied person's side. And I think it's wrong that they sometimes take advantage of their disability. Let's say that. They take advantage of their disability. They take advantage of it. Okay? They use it, in, you know, t for their advantage when they're doing things. Okay? And they just feel like they can just say anything to you and just cuss you out, do everything. But as soon as you want to cuss them back out, oh, he's disabled. He's in a wheelchair. He has this. He has that. You you know he he's paralyzed or or you know he, they have multiple sclerosis you know they have ms you know he has ms and multiple sclerosis so he's he can just talk shit to anybody he want to talk shit to because he's disabled no no is you gonna be rude you know Girl, I'm, I look, y'all, I'm so mad. I didn't, I didn't put no makeup on. I didn't do nothing. Because I'm just pissed. Because that pissed, pissed me off. Now, I'm venting right now. Okay? I am. Because I just feel like it's wrong. And people use use their little disability for their advantage. Okay? And they just feel like they can just run amok. Okay? So, um, and then and then other people, you know, they, they're more partial to them because of their situation. Look, I, I, I'm done venting, you guys. This was a vent session, okay? Leave in the comments how you feel, okay? Because um, I just feel like it, it's just wrong. It's just wrong. I, I, I do. I feel like it's wrong.
fix my hair. I feel like it's wrong, you guys. Um, but I'm not going to let him steal my joy. He did steal it last night because I was really upset. But he's not going to steal it. Okay, I wanted to bring that to you guys. I felt like I wanted to. Okay, yes, I was upset. But I, he's not going to have any more of my energy. I'm not going to talk about it anymore after this video. Okay, because I'm not going to give him any more. I'm not going to put any more life into that situation. When you hold on to stuff, okay, when you hold on to stuff and you don't let stuff go, you're, you're feeding it life. You're giving it life. Okay, and we don't want to continue to do that. When something happened after you discuss it, if you had an argument with somebody or something happened, after you discuss it and y'all come to an agreement, let it go. Move forward. Don't feed it any more life. It's not worth it. Okay, let things go okay and move on okay that's what i want to tell you guys don't give things life that doesn't deserve life okay don't we have to move forward into the next situation because look why even hold on to that when that one's over with now don't give it no more life because another one about to come we always gonna have something something's always gonna happen as long as you living and breathing, you're going to have something that's going to piss you off. Something that's going to happen. So let's not, let's let go of that one and just prepare ourselves. Use some of the experiences we have to get us through the next one. Because we show sure enough going to have another one. Okay, look here, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end that video with that. What I always say before I end my videos, hold your head up. Yes, keep your chest out. Yes, without don't be walking around with your nose all stuck up in the air and all face all frowned up. Okay, or walking around with your head hung low because you feeling sorry for yourself. Okay, we ain't no pity parties jumping off over here. You take that stuff yonder. Not over here, okay? And don't let nobody steal your joy. The joy that you worked so hard to get, okay? That's it, y'all. That's it. I want you guys to have an amazing hump day. And I will see you tomorrow in another video. Peace.